In this demonstration, we're going to look at modifying certificate templates. So what we've done is we've come into our certification authority management utility. And what we're now going to do is we're just going to come in and we're just going to have a look at the certificate templates. So what we have here is we have a folder called certificate templates. And what we're going to do is we're just going to right click at this point here. And if we just have a look at the manage button here, what we get is we get a list of templates we already have in place. And as you can see, we've got quite a few of them. So scroll that down a little bit. Now you can create your own. Or what we can do is we can use the ones that Microsoft have already created for us. So what we're going to do here is just let's have a look at the one used for IPsec. So if we double click on this, what it does is it brings me up some properties. So as we can see here, certificate is valid for two years. Request handling at this point here. So the purpose is signature encryption. CSPs, if we scroll this down a little bit. So we're using the Microsoft RSA. Cryptographic provider, in the case of the subject name. Built from information active directory, type of subject here is computer or device. If we have a look at the extensions, if we click on each of these, it just gives us information about the certificate itself. And then if we look at the security tab, it gives us information about who can actually manage all of this and who can read it. So we'll cancel at this point now. Right, so let's say we want to modify one of these. So let's just have a look down here. What we'll do is we'll go for exchange user. We'll right click and we have the ability to duplicate the template. So we will duplicate the template. So this point here, we've just got show resulting changes. We can see the certification authority and we can see the certificate recipient. If we just go to the general page, what we have is we have the ability to change this to something else. So let's just call this um, exchange. Let's get rid of the copy bit. We'll call this exchange user and let's make this test one. So what we want to do with this certificate is template is we want to use this to supersede some templates that already exist. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just select add. We find our exchange user as that is the one that it is going to supersede. We'll select OK at this point here. Then we'll just go to our security tab because we will need people to be able to actually use this thing here. So all we're going to do here for authenticated users is we allow them to read, but we also need them to be able to enroll so they can actually use this certificate. Also, what we'll do as well is because we have an enterprise CA, we'll also auto enroll as well. Now we've done that, we'll select OK. We'll just close down the templates console. And then what we'll do at this point here is just under our certificate templates here, we'll just right click. We'll go for new and we'll go for certificate template to issue. And then what we want to do here is we just want to find the certificate that we've just created or the template we've just created. And we'll select OK at this point here. And we have now enabled that template to be utilized. That's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.